In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can create blurry background with really beautiful soft lighting. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Thrill here back with another video and this is the final output and this is the stock image that we are going to use. So to do this, uh, first of all we need to cut her out from the background and to do that I'm gonna double click on my background layer and then I will hit OK. So the background is unlocked. Now I'm gonna go and select my quick selection tool and I'm gonna make a selection of her. So I'm gonna make my brush slightly bigger, the selection brush and I'm using my bracket keys for that. So let's make a selection of her, uh, be quick with it because it's a quick selection tool. So select it quickly uh, and let's go here and make selection of her legs uh, real good. Now the basic selection is ready. You don't have to be too accurate for this part and that looks really good and the hand is covered. Yes. So now as you can see the selection is also a lot of in a lot of outside areas. So to remove that, I'm gonna go and select this minus one. And now I'm gonna remove it from the areas where I don't need it. And if you are really close to some detailed area, make your brush smaller, use your bracket keys. So as you can see guys, there is the best selection you can do in the entire world and I should, <laughs> I selected the branch. Uh, so let's go and remove that. So as you can see, the selection is ready and since uh, it's a full length photograph, as you can see, there will be no blur here. So you can chill out with the selection of the sandals. I know it looks crazy. So uh, let's say you made the entire selection carefully, not like me, then all you have to do is just click on this little third icon which is a layer mask and click on that and after that I'm gonna create a new blank layer from here and then I will put it under this one and then I will select my paint bucket something to similar to paint uh, and then I'm just gonna fill in the white color here like this now if I zoom in uh, as you can see the hair looks garbage the edges look horrible so uh, to let's focus on the ages first oh just beautiful selection right there so uh, i'm just gonna go and fix the ages first uh, right click and select refine mask and refine mask uh, first thing i will do is i will increase my feather a little bit not too much see that looks nice and since the feather is up we also need to add some contrast to make it a bit sharper you know sharp nice crispy so the contrast will make it uh, crispy and then I will shift my age a little bit, not too much. So let's look at the original and let's look at this one. You can't see the any difference, I know, but I'm sorry for that. It's recording. But if you follow it in your own work, you will see the difference it makes. It will make it smoother. Looks good. We're going great. So we will fix the ages, as you can see. Uh, hit OK. So let's go and see. So uh, now you can see the difference. The ages are horrible, but now beautiful. Horrible, beautiful. Okay, so this way you can fix the ages. Don't worry about this portion. We are not even going to use it. So uh, let's focus on the hair because that is the most important part. So I'm gonna select my layer mask again, right click and do the same thing, refine mask. But this time I'm just gonna simply start painting. You don't even have to select the brush. It's, it's default selected. So just go and start painting the hair like this, where you think the hair might be. So I'm just gonna go and paint it uh, like this, uh, just like that. That looks amazing. And then again here, and as you can see, and bada boom, that's great. So now if I turn it on and off, let's look at the original and look at this one. This one looks a little less horrible. And then I'm gonna hit OK. Now I'm gonna make a duplicate of this my layer zero. To do that, I'm gonna press Control J. So it will make a copy of it. So now we don't need this layer one, we can delete it. We made the selection proper, delete it. And as you can see, this layer zero copy, I'm just gonna go and name it background. Now you might think, where the hell is background? So since it is a layer mask, your background is still there, but it is hidden under the white, uh, sorry, the black color, as you can see, the black color is hidden. So what I'm simply gonna do is just gonna press Control I 
when I, I'm, I have selected my layer mask, I will press Ctrl I. So you might think, okay, this is the normal image. It's not. If I turn this on and off, here you have background separately and here you have the lady separately. Win-win. So what we actually need to blur is the background. So let's uh, shut up the lady layer for a while. So let's focus on the background. The first thing I will do is right click and select apply layer mask. So the layer mask is applied. We don't have another crazy mess here. Now I want to create a selection of the lady. So as you can see on this layer mask, we have the already selected the lady. So I'm just gonna control click on that. But I have selected my background there. So as you can see, uh, if I zoom in, you can see we have selection of the lady. Uh, let me turn it on as you can see but on the background layer so now i'm gonna press shift backspace so it will open up this little box here so there you have to select content aware and then hit ok now it's the process that will take around 10 15 years depending on your pc wow that only took like two years so as you can see it just filled up the area using the environment around it now we don't need the selections so i can go to select and deselect it so we have some kind of a stupid background ready but it will eventually get blurred so we don't have to worry about this mess now let's go and select this layer 0 and then I will put this on top of my background so as you can see now we have lady separated from the background most of the difficult parts are done now the first thing I will do is I will make another copy of my background layer so as always I'm gonna press ctrl J so you might ask why two copies I will show you in a moment so first of all let's look at the background copy we have here so now I'm gonna go to my filter then I will go to blur and then I will go to fill blur so now as you can see if I increase my fill blur uh, you can see the background is getting blurred and the model is not affected because it is on a different layer so let's go and increase the blur a little bit okay that looks really really nice and here you have this little option called bokeh, light bokeh, the lightning roundy thingy that everyone loves. So I can increase my bokeh here, as you can see, that looks really nice and great. And here you can control the power of bokeh, like how much brightness you need and you don't need. So uh, it will get a little bit too used to, but it is really, really useful and one of the best thing about Photoshop. Uh, in terms of blurring the background so I can increase my blur a little bit more so that looks really nice and that is great I'm gonna decrease the lightning oh, sorry of the bokeh a touch and that looks nice and now I'm just gonna simply hit ok and it will take some time maybe so as you can see the blur is there and if I turn this on and off holy cow that looks amazing so as you can see that looks nice but there's also blur on her heels which looks stupid as hell so you might be thinking yeah this is a smart move all we have to do is just erase the blur from here and we will have the background ready this uh, non blurry background you are right but instead we are going to use a layer mask so I'm gonna apply a layer mask here as you can see now the thing with layer mask is that if I paint with black color it will remove things as you can see sorry black color black color uh, here and if I paint with black color, see, it is gone. But if I think, oh my god, I erased way too much. All I have to do is paint with white color and boom, it's back. See, that's, that's the best thing. Uh, so as you can see, to make it gradual, um, I have made my brush really big. And if you go to my settings, uh, eventually, yeah, uh, the hardness is 0%. So I'm just gonna uh, remove it using my black color. You can use X key to flip between so you can save some time, you know. So I'm gonna paint with black color here and remove it. Now comes all the adjustment parts. So to do that, I'm just gonna select my layer zero and then I will create a new blank layer on top of it. Now I have selected my brush tool and a really nice white color. And I will just simply click on her face. And then I will change this blending mode to soft light and decrease its opacity a little bit as you can see and then I will move it a little bit uh, here uh, like that so there is a bit of a glow on her face that looks nice I can decrease the opacity a little bit more uh, like that 
and then I'll click one more time using my brush on her leg so that also looks uh, really nice now it's time to make the corners dark uh, so to do that I'm gonna create a new blank layer one more time and then you have to press Control, Alter, Shift and E and then change its blending mode to multiply uh, here so as you can see everything is dark as hell so change is the opacity to let's say something like uh, 30 40 percent 45 percent looks nice now i don't need it on entire image so you can erase it or i can apply a layer mask and then paint with black color to remove the necessary areas so now if i go in here and let's keep it only on the corners so as you can see only the edges are darker so this way you can create the edges darker and now the main part the light which everyone by the time should know how to create this if you ever watched my any tutorial so to create this light as you can see I have created a new blank layer and then I will go and select some kind of orange stone because we need a beautiful orange tone uh, similar to something like this and that looks amazing so now I'm just gonna make my brush even bigger I'm using my bracket keys to make my brush bigger and then click here and then change its blending mode to screen and there is your light now it, at first it will not look good so put it in a corner press ctrl T hold your shift key and then drag it here see that's simple and then I'm just gonna put this here so we don't want the actual light we just need the haze of it see you know what I mean and that looks nice now I'm just gonna make another copy of it ctrl J I will press ctrl T right click and flip horizontal and then the light is there but to make it look less uh, copy pasty I'm just gonna press ctrl T one more time and rotate it a little bit uh, like that and put it here make sure there is just a little bit of that light on her face okay not too much this is stupid so I'm just gonna put it a bit here and also move this one a bit here Isn't that looks amazing now the lighting is ready and it's time to create overall environment so for doing that I'm gonna go and select my selective colors from this adjustment layers so the first thing is red and I'm just gonna go and simply add a bunch of red in my reds as you can see to make them pop she has beautiful red dress and also some red in the lighting so that looks uh, really nice a bit more then I will go to my yellows here and then I will add a little bit of a yellow as you can see to make it a uh, bit more contrasty and looks really nice in the grass then let's go to the greens and in the greens I'm just gonna play with the blacks and the contrast of the image and then I will add a lot of greens as you can see it kills the brightness and makes it a little bit more punchier so that looks uh, really nice now I'm just gonna directly go to my white I'm gonna add a little bit of red in my whites uh, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of a yellow in my whites so the orange tone of the image that will match with the skin if you zoom in you can see uh, this is the normal and this is the white uh, sorry added yellows so don't overdo it keep it in control so that looks really nice then let's zoom out a little bit so we can see the image properly and then I'm gonna go to my neutrals and in the neutrals I'm still gonna add a little bit of red but make sure you don't overdo it because the effect in the neutral will be really strong and then you can also add a bit of a yellow or you can use uh, yeah go with the blue to give it that popular look we love the vintage look so yeah you can go with either way will work nice so I wanna go with the bit more yellowish and in the blacks you can like create a bit more contrast so that looks nice now I noticed that the brightness of my light is too much so I'm gonna control click on both of them and then I will reduce the opacity a little bit so it's not too much now you're gonna create another adjustment layer and this time I'm gonna select hue and saturation now what we're simply gonna do is add a little bit of lightness so it will make the image brighter and open up the black parts and then I will add touch more saturation not too much just a touch okay too much will ruin it so a little bit and lightness 7 seems fine and now if I turn it on enough you can see it makes the overall image 
fresh and now I'm gonna create one more adjustment layer and then let's go and select a solid color and instead of black color I'm gonna go and select a something similar to black but not exact black closer to black yeah that looks nice and then change its blending mode to sort of where is an exclusion so as you can see now if I turn it on and off you can see the black parts they look a little bit more hazier and uh, flat uh, and the look looks really nice but it's stronger so i'm gonna make the opacity to let's say 50 percent now if i turn it on and off it's more subtle and now the final step and which is i'm gonna create a new brightness contrast layer and add a little bit of brightness to make image uh, more bright uh, maybe three four points should be enough four points uh, looks nice uh, as you can see overall punchiness so now let's finally look at the after before uh, this is the original file that we started working on and this is the end file it's beautiful isn't it and if you look at the close-up it's even more amazing let's look at the original one boom and that's the dreamy look everybody loves so i really hope that you learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button so i can know and if you have any kind of questions regarding this video or suggestions Feel free to drop them in the comment section below. You can click on any of these boxes to learn more soft light effects like this. And you can also subscribe to my channel. You can click on that box, it will take you to my channel. So there I have more than 80 free Photoshop tutorials just waiting for you. And subscribing to me will notify you every time I upload a new video. So that would be handy. So till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.